Hi guys and welcome back to the Crochet Tour YouTube channel. In today's video I'm bringing you another new pattern um, and this time it's for a Pokemon character so it's actually for Rowlet. So here he is and from the back So as I'm sure any Pokemon fans can have already guessed, I decided to create Rowlet because I've been playing new Pokemon game a lot recently um, and he's the starter that I chose at the beginning of the game. Um, I might make the other starters as well, um, but yeah, this is the one that I'm starting off with because it's the one that I chose. I usually choose the grass type, to be honest. Um, so yeah, I think the only time I haven't chose the grass type was when I chose um, school bunny in my um which i've already done another pattern on in a previous video so yeah you can find that in my channel but um yeah so if you guys are interested in finding out how to make rowlet then please keep watching this video as always the written pattern will be available on my blog for free and that will be linked down below um and the good thing about this pattern is i'd say it's pretty beginner friendly and also there's no felt or glue involved at all here so we're doing the eyes with uh, solely yarn and everything else is made with yarn as well so that's quite nice um but yeah without further ado let's get into what you'll be needing for this tutorial for this tutorial you'll be needing aran weight yarn in the following colors white black green orange and brown then you will also be needing some stuffing this is just a small amount to demonstrate but you'll be needing more than this You'll be needing your crochet hook. I'm using a 4mm crochet hook to go with my Aran weight yarn, but if you're using a slightly different weight of yarn, then you may need to size up or size down on your crochet hook. Then you'll be needing a yarn needle, that's just for sewing things together, and also you'll be needing um, some pins as well to keep things in place when you're sewing things down. Um, I've also got my scissors here, and then finally I've got my stitch marker, which I'm just using a small offcut of yarn, so you can do the same if you don't have a specific stitch marker. So that's everything you'll be needing for this tutorial, so let's get straight into it. We're going to start with our brown yarn, and we're going to start by doing six single crochets into a magic circle. And then we're just going to pull on the tail to close up that hole. And that's the end of round one. We've got six single crochets in a magic circle. Now for round two, we're going to increase in each single crochet all the way around to get us up to 12 single crochets at the end of the round. Okay, so that's the end of round two and you should now have 12 single crochets all the way around. The next few rounds are just standard increases and increments of six so I'll talk you through those. For round three you're going to do single crochet increase and repeat that five more times to get you up to 18 single crochets at the end of the round. Round four two single crochet increase repeat that five more times to get you to 24 single crochets at the end of the round. Round five, three single crochet increase, repeat that five more times, skate to 30 single crochets at the end of the round. Round six, four single crochet increase, repeat that five more times, skate to 36 single crochets at the end of the round. Round seven, single crochet all the way around. Round eight, five single crochet increase, repeat that five more times, skate to 42 single crochets at the end of the round. Round nine, single crochet all the way around. Round 10, six single crochet increase, repeat that five more times, skate to 48 single crochets at the end of the round and then rounds 11 to 19 so nine rounds in total single crochet all the way around so i'll meet you when you're just about ready to start round 20 as we then need to change color to white okay so as you can see i've nearly finished round 19 and this is what it's looking like so um, I'm just about to do the final single crochet of the round and in this single crochet I'm going to change colour to white. So I'm going to pull through um, in the same colour that's already on my hook and then I'm going to grab my white 
and then I'm going to pull that through both the loops on my hook and now I've changed to white so that's just the standard colour change method that I've done there. So I'm just going to remove my stitch marker and carry on single crocheting around. And once I'm happy that that um, white is secure, I'm going to just snip this tail. And yeah, so for round 20, I'm just going to keep single crocheting all the way around in my white colour. Um, and that's also going to be the case for round 21. So I'll meet you at the end of round 21 when you've done two rounds of single crocheting all the way around in your white colour. So I got to the end of round 21 and now I'm going to start round 22. And for round 22 we're going to start decreasing. So we're going to do six single crochets. So that's my first one. Two, three, four, five, six, and then we're going to do a decrease over the next two stitches. Like that. So you're just going to keep doing that pattern all the way around. So six single crochets. And then a decrease until you get to the end of round 22, when you should then have 42 single crochets all the way around. Okay, I've now just got to the end of round 22, and for 23, you're just gonna single crochet all the way around, so I'll meet you at the end of round 23. Okay, so I've just finished round 23, now for round 24, we're gonna do five single crochets and a decrease, so one, two, three, four, five, and a decrease. And we're going to just repeat that pattern all the way around until we get to the end um, where we should have 36 um, single crochets all the way around. So I'll meet you at the end of the round. Okay, so now I'm ready to start round 25. And again, it's pretty much the same as what we've done before, except the um, pattern we've reduced the number of single crochets by one. So this time we're going to do four single crochets. One, two, three, four, and then a decrease. And you're just going to repeat that five more times and that will get you down to 30 single crochets at the end of the round. I got to the end of round 25 and this is what my rowlet is looking like. So for round 26 you're just going to do three single crochet decrease, repeat that five more times to get you down to 24 single crochets at the end of the round. Round 27 two single crochet decrease, repeat that five more times to get you down to 18 single crochets at the end of the round. I'll meet you at that point as we then need to stuff firmly and then there'll just be a couple more rounds to do. As you can see, I got to the end of round 27 and I've stuffed firmly at this point. So I'm just going to do the final two rounds now, which is round 28, single crochet decrease. Repeat that five more times to get you to 12 single crochets at the end of the round. And then round 29, decrease all the way around to get you down to six single crochets at the end of the round. So I'll meet you at the end of round 29. So this is what Rowlet's looking like at the end of round 29. So we just need to cut our yarn now, leaving a little bit of a tail. And then we're going to close up this hole at the bottom and we're just going to do that by um, feeding the tail through our yarn needle. And then we're going to weave the yarn needle, um, sorry, we're going to weave that tail through the front loop only of each of these six um, stitches at the end of round 29. Okay, then just pull tightly, the hole should close up and then you can just weave that yarn tail through to a random white stitch somewhere. Don't pull too tightly just so you don't misshape the bottom and then you can just cut that. So 
So now you just want to sort of um, shape your piece and at this point you probably want to decide what you think is your neatest side and maybe um, decide where you think the front of um, Rowlet is going to be. So I reckon for me it's going to be here. So I might just place a pin to remind myself of that. And I wouldn't worry too much about um, avoiding where the colour change happens. So this bit here, because we will be adding some additional um, parts to Rowlet, like the little green leaves in the middle. Um, and that w could cover up the colour change if you wanted to. So yeah, I wouldn't worry too, too much about that. But yeah. So for the eyes, we're going to be um, starting off with our black yarn. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be crocheting around a foundation chain. This is to create more of an oval shape for the black part of the eye. So I'm just going to start off by chaining four. And then you're going to start working in the second chain from hook and you're going to do an increase and then two single crochets. I'm going to be working into the back loops because that's just my preference, but you could work into these front loops if you wanted to. So that's my increase, then I'm going to do two single crochets. And then we're going to repeat that pattern on the other side of that foundation chain. So we're going to do two single crochets into this stitch, our increase. And then we're going to do two single crochets to take us to the end of the chain. So that's the end of round one and as you can see we've now got a kind of oval shape for the eye there. Okay, so um, what I'm actually gonna do now, before we start round two, I'm actually just gonna undo the last single crochet I did in round one, so just this one. And that's because we're gonna be changing to white actually um, for round two. So I'm just gonna pull through in black like this, and then I'm gonna get my white and pull through both loops in the white to change change colour so just like that so now we're ready to start round two in our white colour so for round two all you're going to be doing is you're going to do a single crochet in the first stitch so one single crochet and then you're going to be doing an increase in the next stitch just like this and you'll repeat that all the way to the end so that'll be three more times you'll need to do that pattern and that'll get you up to 12 single crochets at the end of round two so I'll meet you at that point. So this is what it should be looking like at the end of round two we've got our 12 single crochets now in white so I'm just going to talk you through the next um, three rounds they're just going to be in white again um, and they're just standard increases and increments of six now. So for round three, you're going to do a single crochet increase and repeat that pattern five more times to get you up to 18 single crochets at the end of the round. Round four, two single crochet increase, repeat that five more times to get you to 24 single crochets at the end of the round. And then round five, three single crochet increase, repeat that five more times to get you to 30 single crochets at the end of the round. So I'll meet you at the end of round five. Okay, so I got to the end of round five and this is what it looks like. We're ready to finish off now um, and it's up to you. At this point, you can finish off with a fake single crochet and that's going to make it a bit less obvious where the round ended um, when you sew this uh, down to your rowlet. You could just do a slip stitch into the next stitch like this if you wanted to and finish off like that. That's That looks okay as well. Um, I'm going to do the fake single crochet method because I like to be a bit extra. So I'm just going to cut my yarn, leaving quite a long tail for sewing. So I've got my yarn snipped now. I'm going to pull that tail through like this. Then I'm going to flip my work. I'm just going to skip the next single crochet and go into this one. I'm going to pull this yarn tail through like this. And then I'm going to go back to that final single crochet from round five. And I'm going to go into the front loop only from our current perspective. So this one that's closest to us. I'm just going to pull that tail through again. 
and as you can see now the finish is a lot cleaner at the top there and if you didn't know you may not be able to tell that that was the end of the round so it's just going to look a lot cleaner when we um sew this down to our rowlet so obviously you're going to want two eyes so you're going to want to do the same thing again um, and then when you've got your two eyes come back here and um, I'll show you how to sew these down to the rowlet okay so I've got my two eyes now and one final step is just to add the little white dot in the middle of the eye so I'm just going to do it on the other eye And then you're just going to want to knot that off at the back. You could knot a bit more if you want, but I'm not too worried about it. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So now you've got your two eyes ready to be sewn down to your rowlet. So I've pinned both the eyes down now. And um, to help you with the positioning, I would say that you should make sure that the bottom of the eyes is roughly um, so like one row, sorry, one round higher than the um, round where we did the colour change. So you can see there's like a round of brown that you can still see underneath the eyes and then they should be positioned pretty much um, directly next to each other. So there shouldn't really be a gap in the middle. Um, and that's fine because we're going to be crocheting the nose and we're going to crochet that and um, sew that down in between the eyes so you won't even see this bit anyway. Um, so yeah, so once you're happy with the positioning like this, we're going to start sewing down. I'm just going to be doing a running stitch so I'll show you um, how I start that off. So I'm just going to go into a nearby brown stitch like this and I'm going to go into another nearby brown stitch and then back through um, the white stitch like that and now I'm going to go back through a white stitch into a brown stitch and then a brown stitch and through the white stitch. I'm just going to do that pretty much all the way around I may skip um sewing down these parts because you're not going to see it so I mean I, I probably will still sew them down but don't worry too much if you're not particularly neat or whatever because as I say we're going to um make a nose and sew that in between the eyes anyway so you won't see this part so yeah feel free to be really messy when you're sewing that bit but um yeah other than that I'm going to try and neatly sew around the eye and then I'm going to do the other one and I'll meet you when I've done that I finished sewing down the eyes and this is what they look like now. One little tip is if you still have um, a fairly long tail left um, from when you sewed down the eyes like I do, you might actually just want to leave it at this point rather than cutting it because you could use that to help you sew the nose down which is the next thing that we're going to make. But um, if you don't have a tail it's not the end of the world. I'll warn you um, at the point where you probably want to leave a bit of a white tail to help with sewing. And even if you forgot at that point, you can always reattach some yarn for sewing. So, uh, yeah, but I just thought I'd uh, leave that little tip there for you. So, as I mentioned, we're now going to move on to making the nose. So, for that, we're going to need our white yarn again to start with. And we're going to start off by doing um, six single crochets in a magic circle. Then you're just going to pull that tail to close up the hole and then for round two we're going to do two single crochet increase two single crochet increase and that will bring us up to eight single crochets at the end of the round
Okay, so that's the end of round two. You should have eight single crochets all the way around. And then for rounds three to six, we're just going to single crochet all the way around. I'll meet you at the end of round six as we're going to change to orange at that point. So I'm just about to do the final single crochet for round six. And as I mentioned, I'm going to change to orange. So now I'm working in orange. And what we're going to do is um, for rounds seven to eight, you're just going to single crochet all the way around just like this. So yeah, I'll meet you when you've uh, completed round eight. Oh, and sorry, I forgot to mention, but um, before you cut your white yarn after doing the colour change, if you don't already have a white tail um, left over from sewing down the eyes that you're going to use to sew down the nose, then you probably want to make sure that you leave a fairly long tail at this point, and you can use that later for sewing. Um, but I'm not going to do that because I've already got a tail from the eyes. So anyway, I'll meet you at the end of round eight. Okay, so I've got to the end of round eight. For round nine, we're just going to do two single crochet decrease, two single crochet decrease. So now you should have six single crochets at the end of the round and that's all uh, we need to do in terms of rounds for this. So I'm just going to cut my yarn leaving a bit of a tail for sewing and then we're just going to close up the hole as we would normally. So um, weaving our yarn tail through those front loops of each of those six stitches at the end of the round. Oops, it <laughs> went flying there. And just pull tightly and then you can kind of flatten the nose this is kind of how it's going to look when it's sat on the face so I'm just going to pin this down now um, and then I'm going to show you um, how I've done that and then we can sew it down to the face one quick additional thing I'm going to do before I sew this down is just add a small little black line um, while I still have access to the back of the nose just with some scrap black yarn Yep, and that's all you need to do and then you can just tie that off at the back and weave in those ends. Then you can just cut those black yarn tails and now you've got your little black line at the front. I've pinned down the nose between the eyes as you can see and I'm going to start just sewing that all the way around. So I'm going to be using my orange tail for the orange parts and then the white tail for the white parts. So yeah, I'll, keep, I'll just do that all the way around for the orange bit. And then when I'm using this yarn tail for the white part, I'm just going to feed it through the eye to the place where I need it. So about here. Just 
just like that and then I'll just sew the white bits down. So yeah, I'm just going to do that all the way around with my two uh, yarn tails and I'll meet you when I finish that. I've sewn down the nose and this is what it's looking like. So now you're going to want to grab your green yarn as we're going to move on to making the little leaves at the front. So for the leaves at the front of Rowlet, we're going to start off with our green yarn and we're going to do four single crochets in a magic circle for round one. Then we're going to close up the hole like that. And then for round two, you're going to do single crochet increase, single crochet increase, and that will get you to six single crochets at the end of the round. Okay, so that's the end of round two. You should have your six single crochets all the way around. I'm just going to talk you through the remaining rounds uh, next because, again, they're just um, just a mixture of single crochets, increases and decreases, so uh, things we've already covered in the video. So for round three, you're going to do two single crochet increase, two single crochet increase. That'll get you up to eight single crochets at the end of the round. Rounds four to five, single crochet all the way around. Round six, decrease all the way around to get you down to four single crochets at the end of the round. Round seven, increase all the way around to get you back up to eight single crochets at the end of the round. Rounds eight to nine, single crochet all the way around. Round ten, two single crochet decrease, two single crochet decrease to get you down to six single crochets at the end of the round. And then finally round eleven, single crochet decrease, single crochet decrease to get you down to four single crochets at the end of the round. So I'll meet you at the end of round eleven as we then need to close up the hole and then we'll sew the leaves to the front of Rowlet. So at the end of round 11 this is what your piece should be looking like so you just need to cut your yarn now leaving a bit of a tail for sewing and then we're just going to close up the hole in the same way as usual. Okay, and that is the finished piece. So now what we need to do is just pin this to the front of Rowlet and then we can sew it down in the same way as we've sewn down the other parts so far. So I'm just grabbing my pins. So I want it to be sat just below the eyes like this. So I'm just going to pin this side and then pin this side and just position it how you want it to look and yeah I'm just going to sew that down and I'll meet you when I've finished that. I've sewn down the little front leaves piece there so this is what it's currently looking like and now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to making the feet so if you grab your orange yarn let's do that now. I've gone ahead and made one of the feet just to show you what it's going to look like. So basically the way that this is made is we're going to make these two little toe pieces, I guess you could call them, and then we're going to join them together in um, one of the later rounds and then just um, finish off the foot like this. So yeah, let's get started on the second foot. So to start off with, as I mentioned, we need to make two of the little toes. So for the toes, you're going to do three single crochets in a magic circle for round one. So that's round one. Then for round two, you're going to increase in each single crochet all the way around. So that'll get you up to six single crochets at the end of the round. Okay. 
Okay, so that's the end of round two. You should have six single crochets all the way around. And then for rounds three to four, so the next two rounds, you're just gonna single crochet all the way around. So I'll meet you at the end of round four. Okay, so I got to the end of round four and this is what it looks like. If your one looks a little bit squashed like this, then what you can do is you can just put your other end of your crochet hook inside it and kind of shape the toe around it to get that more um, elongated look, I suppose you could say. So yeah, once you've done that, for the first toe, you're just gonna cut your yarn. You can leave a little bit of a tail, um, but you don't need to leave too much. And that's that. And then we're just gonna repeat all those rounds again. So rounds one to four that we just did, but this time um, just leave your yarn on the hook and then we're gonna join the two toes together in round five. So I'll meet you when you're ready to start round five. Okay, so I've got two toes now and I'm ready to start round five. So for round five, you're firstly gonna do three single crochets into the toe that's currently on your hook. So I'm gonna uh, make sure to mark the first stitch as well. So one, two, three. Then I'm gonna do six single crochets around the second um, toe over here. So you can really start wherever you want, but I'm just gonna start in this um, single crochet. I'm just gonna try and make that first one quite tight so the toes are tightly joined together. So one, two, three, four, five, and then on the sixth one I'm just going to make sure that I'm crocheting over that orange tail as well to secure that. And then we just need to do three single crochets uh, again into the other toe. And if you're not sure where to start, then just count back three from your stitch marker. So one, two, three. So it's this one that we're going in. One, two, three. So that's the end of round five. You should now have 12 single crochets all the way around and your two toes should be joined together. For round six, we're gonna do four single crochet decrease, four single crochet decrease. So one, two, three, four, and then a decrease. And then, one, two, three, four, and another decrease. So at the end of round six, you should have 10 single crochets all the way around now. Um, and for round seven, you're just gonna do 10 single crochets. So just single crochet all the way around. I'll meet you at the end of round seven, uh, just to remind you that we need to add some stuffing, but just a light amount. And then we can do round eight together and finish this off. So I'm ready to start the final round now, which is round eight. And as you can see, I've added some stuffing. So if you're struggling to get the stuffing into the toes, again, I would just use the method of um, poking it in with the other side of your crochet hook, or you could use um, one of the blades of your scissors as well. I find that helps um, sometimes to push stuffing in. So once you've added a light amount of stuffing, and I say light because you don't want to add too much because it might show through in the gaps. Um, so if it's if you're seeing the stuffing, you've probably added a bit too much. So um, just make sure that you can't see uh, the stuffing too much uh, in the gaps. But once you're happy with the amount that you've stuffed, then for the final round, we're just going to decrease all the way around. So that'll be five decreases. Oh, I've got the stuffing caught in my yarn let's try that one again
Okay, so I've done my five decreases. Now I'm going to cut my yarn, leaving a tail for sewing. And then I'm going to close up the hole in the same way as we normally do. So weaving the yarn tail through the front loops of each of those five stitches. So one, two, three, four, five. So starting here. Okay, then I'm going to just weave that yarn tail through and out to any stitch, it doesn't really matter um, where you put it. So just like that, and don't cut the tail because we are going to need this for sewing, but you might want to get rid of uh, this tail from the first toe that you did, if you still have a tail remaining, so I'm just going to weave that through and cut it. Cool. Okay. So come back once you've got your two feet like this and I will show you how to sew them down to rowlet. So I just want to show you how I've positioned the feet. So as you can see there they are at the bottom and I've just pinned them down. So um, you probably want to do the same and then I'll show you how I sew them now but I'll probably do it from a different angle. I'm just going to start sewing down one of the feet now to show you. So I'm only going to be sewing um, the kind of part where the feet are joined, the toes are joined together. I'm not going to be sewing down the individual toes. I'm going to leave them um, separate. So I'm basically just whip stitching and every now and then I'm just going to have a little look at the positioning of the foot and make sure that I'm still happy with how that looks and then I'll just carry on. Um, I might need to just take off the other uh, foot because it's getting in the way a little bit but um, yep I'm just going to keep going round. So I'm just going to keep going round like this all the way around the joined together part of the foot and I'm going to do the same thing with the other foot and then I'll meet you when I finish that as I think this is just quite repetitive so yep I'll see you in a little bit. I finished sewing down the feet and this is what it's looking like now. So once you've got to this point um, it's time to make the wings so if you grab your brown yarn again let's do that now. I've already gone ahead and made one of the wings this is what it looks like. Um, so it's just rounds until you get to the final little bit at the end here and then we do a couple of rows to finish it off. Um, so yeah, so to get started with this for round one you're just going to do six single crochets in a magic circle. So that's round one then for round two you're just going to increase all the way around So that's the end of round two and you should now have 12 single crochets all the way around. I'm just going to talk you through the remaining rounds until we get to the part where we need to do rows. So for round three you're going to do single crochet increase and repeat that five more times to get you to 18 single crochets at the end of the round. And then rounds four to 13 which is 10 rounds in total you're going to just single crochet all the way around. So I'll meet you at the end of round 13 as we'll then start working in rows. So I got to the end of round 13 and now I'm ready to start working in rows. So for row one, we're going to do chain one, turn, and we're just going to do nine single crochets. So 
So that's row one. For row two, we're going to chain one, turn, and this time we're going to decrease to start off with. Then we're going to do five single crochets. And then finally, we're going to do a decrease. And then finally, for row three, you're going to chain one, turn, and again, we're going to do decrease, then three single crochets, and then a decrease to finish off. So then you just need to cut your yarn, leaving um, a fairly long tail for sewing. And then just flatten the wing like that. So I've got my two wings now. So once you've got yours, come back and I'll show you how we sew those down. So as you can see, I've already sewn down one of the wings and that's what it looks like. And what I've just done is pinned the second wing um, and made sure that it looks kind of symmetrical when I'm looking at it like this. So I'm happy with that, so I'm going to start sewing this one down and I'll show you how I do it. So we're basically just going to be doing whip stitching. So. Okay, so I've done the top row now. I'm just going to check how that's looking from the front. Yep, that's still looking fine. I'm probably just going to remove the pins now because now that I've um, whip stitched the top row down, it's not going to go anywhere. So I'm just going to whip stitch down a few of the side stitches now. I'm going to try and match how I did it on the other side. So I'm just going to see. It looks like I kind of went down to about this point on the other side so I might do one or two more okay how's that looking yep I think that looks pretty symmetrical so I'm happy with that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, move my yarn tail through to one of these back stitches here and then just sew down a few stitches at the side of the wing but at the back this time so I'm just gonna it's less impo important to do it um, neatly and symmetrical at the back because obviously you won't really be seeing that so Okay, and now I'll just check how that wing's sitting. So that is how it's looking like now. And it's completely up to you if you want to just leave it like this so that the wings can move. Um, that's probably how I'm going to leave it. But what you could do if you wanted to is move your yarn tail through to one of the stitches around here and just do a little stitch um, at the bottom to just keep the wing um attached to the body if you don't want uh, it to be able to be moved but yeah so this is what it looks like once you've sewn down the wings so i think what we're going to move on to making next is uh, the little kind of feathers that go along the front and also along the back as well and we're going to do that in our brown yarn too so let's do that now so we're going to make five of these uh, little feathers in total so i've already made four here as you can see and i'm just going to do the fifth one with you now so if you grab your black yarn we're going to start off by doing six single crochets in a magic circle
and then instead of continuing in rounds we're actually doing rows here so we're going to start our second row by chaining two turning our work and we're going to do a double crochet so to do that yarn over pull, put your uh, hook through the single crochet pull through a loop like this yarn over pull through the first two loops and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops whoops <laughs> if i could get that to work there we go and we're gonna do another double crochet in the next stitch then in the next two stitches we're going to increase but with double crochets so we're going to do two double crochets in each of the next two stitches And then in the final two stitches, we're just going to do one double crochet in each. So that's it. Then I would just do a final pull on that tail to close up the hole as much as possible. Then you can cut your yarn, leaving a tail for sewing. And I've got a bit of a knot in my <laughs> yarn here, so I'm just going to deal with that before I pull that through. Cool. And then so this is going to be the front of the feather so um, with the uh, end of row two on the right hand side so then you're just going to flip your work and you're going to hide this tail at the back. So as I mentioned, come back when you've made five of these and I'll show you how we're going to sew them down. So as you can see, I've already sewn down three of the feathers at the back here and it kind of covers up the colour change part. So you might want to position yours in the same way. Um, I've done one of the front ones, so just this one here. And I'm about to do this second one at the front now and I'll do that with you. So I'm basically just going to be whip stitching along at the top of the piece so I'm going to try and line it up so that it is next to the leaf and then I'm going to start sewing that down you could use pins but um, I'm not going to Okay, so that's what it looks like when it's sewn down, as you can see. Um, and one final thing that I did decide to do on the other side, which I'm going to do here, is I used um, the remaining yarn tail I had to actually sew down this wing so that it doesn't move around. And the reason I did that is because I didn't want it to uh, be uh, visible at all, that there wasn't any feather underneath the wing, if you see what I mean. So feel free to make two extra little feathers if you want to uh, sort of do it all the way around instead of leaving this bit blank. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Um, sew the wing down like this that you can't even tell that there's nothing under there so to do that i'm just gonna weave this yarn tail through to one of the white stitches over here like that and then i'm just gonna go into one of the brown stitches and then back through a white stitch like that and pull fairly tightly Okay, so as you can see now, 
that wing is not going anywhere um, unless you really tugged on it. You could sew down a few more stitches, but I'm not planning to be particularly rough with this, so I think that will do. So I'm just going to weave the yarn tail through now to a brown stitch so I can just snip that and it won't be visible. Okay, so this is now what my rowlet's looking like and we're nearly getting there. So the next thing we're going to make is another set of three little brown feathers to go just above the three down here. Um, but they're all going to be joined together so it's quite quick to make this piece. So to start off with you're just going to chain 10. And then we're going to start working in our second chain from hook and what we're going to do in that stitch is we're going to do a single crochet and then a double crochet. Then in the next chain you're going to do a double crochet. Then a single crochet. Then in the next chain you're going to do a slip stitch. And we're just going to repeat that pattern twice more. So single crochet, then double crochet in the next stitch. Then double crochet, single crochet. Then slip stitch. And one more time. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this. So I'm just going to cut my yarn, leaving a tail for sewing. To be honest, I can probably just use this tail from the beginning for sewing, but I'll just leave a long tail just in case I need it. And I'll just pull that yarn tail through. And then all I'm going to do is just position this a few rounds above where I did those little, um, sorry, the bigger feathers down there. And I'm probably just going to pin that down. like that and then I'm going to grab my yarn needle and I'm just going to be sewing that down with a whip stitch along the top so basically the same way that we sewed down the um, other feathers So I'm just going to keep going like that all the way to the end um, and then I'll meet you when I finish that. I've sewn down the three little feathers group as well now. So the final thing that we need to make is just a little green um, tail that's going to go at the back here underneath this feather. So let's get started with that. So I'm just going to talk you through the rounds for the uh tail feather so you're going to want to grab your green yarn for this um but yeah the rounds are basically what we've done already for other parts of the pattern so for round one you're just going to do six single crochets in a magic circle round two increase all the way around and then rounds three to nine single crochet all the way around so i'll meet you at the end of round nine as we'll then just need to close up the tail and then we'll sew it to the back of rowlet and then we'll be done so I've completed round nine and this is what it's looking like. So all I'm going to do is just fold closed and I'm going to um, single crochet across to close up the piece. So I'll do six single crochets across. So one, two, three, four, five and six. And then you're just going to cut your yarn, leaving a bit of a tail for sewing. And now we're just going to sew this to the back of Rowlet. So with the tail, you're just going to position it underneath the um, feathers at the bottom here. And then you're just going to whip stitch across 
to sew that down so you might just want to flap up the feathers to allow you to get access Okay, I'm just going to see how that looks. Fine, so I'm happy with the positioning of that. Um, and all I'm going to do is I will just uh, whip stitch down a couple of stitches at the side as well to secure this a little bit more. that side and then I'm just going to do the other side Gonna take another look at that. I'm just gonna do a couple more on the other side again because I think it looks a little bit lopsided. So I'm just gonna. that's better I think that looks a lot more balanced now so I'm just going to weave that tail through and then I'll slip that and then you can just pat your feathers back down again so that they're sitting nicely and then you've got your little tail at the back here so uh, I'm just going to show you the finished rowlet and that will be the end of this video so this is what the completed rowlet looks like from the front and then here he is from the back and mine does stand up um, like that so hopefully yours does as well so yeah that is the finished uh, video I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one bye guys